the lamingtons. So this is actually a lamington long jump. I've never had one with cream in the middle. It's like a donut thing. Um, so this one will be an interesting one. Um, a bit new, a bit foreign to me. Hello and welcome. We haven't met before. My name is James Follin and I make videos for wine lovers to learn more about the world of wine. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. What wine would pair well with the Lamington. So this one is a Lamington Long John. They have gone strong on the coconut there. It's got some strawberry jam, it's got some cream. A classic British thing with scones is like strawberry, oh no, strawberries and cream on their own, like a tennis dish for the English, I think it is. It's a classic pairing. So picking up a rosé that will go well with the jam on this. Um, and the cream, as well as the coconutty. So something that goes with those flavors and also works alongside kind of chocolate, strawberry, coconut. So it works alongside the sweetness when I look at the rosé. And that lamington, that lamington is full on. Um, looking at that, like, looking at it, the bite, the cream, it's intensely sweet. That definitely gets me thinking. And that, straw, that hint of strawberry and kind of cherry works really nicely with the chocolate, the coconut, and the cream. And also the acid help kind of cut through. And the texture, particularly of this rosé, helps cut through some of the kind of sweetness of that lamington, which is really nice. So being able to enjoy the McWiggin non-alcoholic rosé for this and even getting a real rosé with more body to it would be really interesting. And rating out of that, not a huge fan of this, like, I've had better Lamingtons. So like this Lamington might be a five. Um, Lamington with the pairing, I think elevates it to like a seven out of 10. So five out of 10 for the Lamington, uh, seven out of 10 for the Lamington and the wine pairing. But the other thing, um, that I was thinking about looking at the Lamington pairing was because of the kind of the sweetness, the chocolatiness, um, I was thinking that a Shiraz would go well. So this one's a particular, in particularly a Shiraz Viognier. So I'm just gonna get a little bit in the glass because I'm moving from kind of white wine to red wine, give it a swirl, give it a sniff, rinses out the glass, cleanses it so you don't kind of cross contaminate the wine when you top it up to do the tasting as well. So bringing it in, looking at a Shiraz, this is technically a, a Shiraz Viognier from Talblick from Nangimbi Lakes from the 2018 vintage. The Viognier adds a little bit of apricot to it, but otherwise you get the kind of red berries, plum, I think a bit of vanilla. Yep, this red wine is, I love red wine. Um, matured in old oak. The berry, plum, pepper, shiraz with floral and apricot tones. Um, I think plum is one of the characteristics I go looking for and enjoy most in Shiraz as part of that. And I'm thinking the berry and the plum is gonna go really nicely um, with the Lamington. That Lamington is, is intensely sweet. One of the sweeter Lamingtons I've had. So you almost have here the plum and the berry flavors of the Shiraz coming through um, to go alongside and contrast the chocolate, the coconut, the cream and the, the jam and the pepperiness also going through there. I'm biased, I have to say. So thinking about um, the Lamington with the Shiraz um, and how those two went together with the Lamington and the Shiraz. With the Lamington and Shiraz, I think that'd be an eight out of 10. I'm really biased towards the Shiraz though, um, as part of that. So big, the Shiraz really sways it. We know in the comments below what food and wine pairings I should do in another video. The best wine is the wine that you enjoy drinking and I'll see you in the next video or live stream.